This is what my first ever roll of film looks like. It's not that bad, it's not that good either. Granted, it was 10 years ago, and I was only 10 years old. That same year, I shot my second and third rolls of film, and they're also not so good. I shot all of these rolls on school excursions on Kodak disposable cameras because I wasn't to be trusted with the digital camera we had back at home, which I did eventually break, so fair enough. From there on, I would not shoot film for another three years until I was given my late grandfather's SLR and shot my fourth roll in 2012. That year, in general, was the year I really began to define myself through filmmaking and photography, though I only ever shot digital and wouldn't find myself shooting 35mm film until about a year ago I received an email from a YouTube channel based in Melbourne inviting me to give them a shout if I were ever in town. And late last year, we made a video together which I think caused an awakening of sorts for me with shooting film. And now, in early 2019, I'm still shooting my way through my 13th roll of film. safe to say that I dabble a little bit in film photography but I don't shoot as much as I'd like to because I only really own SLR film cameras and given that I'm usually already carrying around two DSLRs I don't want to carry around another clunky SLR so today I'm in Shinjuku trying to find myself a nice point and shoot camera I've no idea where I am that footage of me in Tokyo was shot over a month ago, which means I've had this camera for over a month now, and I'm still very much in love with this camera and very much in love with the process of shooting film in general at the moment. The camera store that I bought this from actually came as a recommendation from my friend Alex from Decaffeinated Photography, so thanks for that, Alex. Classic Camera Moritz, I think it's called. Honestly, my concept of heaven is just just rows and rows and rows of camera stores that I just get to walk through and play with all the cameras. I, I just really like cameras. Anyways, back on topic. My relationship with film has been going very strong. Over this past month of April, I've actually shot more film than I have shot digital. And I don't know how to feel about that. I, I think it's a good thing. And I have a bunch of pictures that I really want to share with you. But before I get to that, we're gonna cut back to me in Tokyo with my first few moments with the point and shoot camera. So, I bought a camera. It's the Canon Autoboy Tele. It is, it is beautiful. I'm really happy. Whilst in the camera store, I got recommended to go up to the top of this building. And that's, that's quite a building. Where apparently one can go for free and see the view. I'm so excited. I hope the shots come out nice. <laughs> This camera is so much fun to shoot with. I've already shot 22 shots out of 27 on this roll and, it's, and it hasn't even been two hours yet. That is the, the quickest I've ever shot film in my life. It's also because this is a test roll and I want to get this developed as soon as possible. So I'm hoping for an overnight develop here in Japan, but I, I don't know if that's possible yet. As far as test goes, that couldn't have gone more perfect. I'd give that an A plus for sure. The camera exceeded my expectations that I had image quality wise because I, I wasn't really so sure about how the very tiny bit of lens was gonna fare. I had genuinely prepared myself for the worst, but in the end it turned out brilliantly. And after that great one day roll, I proceeded to shoot five 
more rolls on five different types of films on my three different film shooting cameras. The first roll being Fuji Superior, followed by a black and white roll of Ilford Super XP2. And then after that, some basic Fuji 200 and basic Kodak Color 400. To then finally finish with a client shoot in which I shot Kodak T-Max 3200. And yeah, I shot my first ever roll of film for a paid gig and I honestly couldn't be more pleased with the results. And yeah, we're getting to that. I'm gonna show you some pictures in a second. But before we get to that, I just wanna clear up two things real quickly. The Fuji 200 roll, I actually started shooting that in January and the Kodak Color 400 roll, uh, it's a little bit expired. And the camera that I shot it on, the meter is broken, I think. So these are the only two usable shots that I got from that roll. And when I say usable, I mean usable, yeah. Anyways, on to the other roles. Fuji Superior is just gorgeous. It's just a brilliant all-rounder type of film. I, I love it so much. And this particular version of Fuji Superior, they only really supply in Japan, so I, I, I don't get to shoot it, but I, I really wish I could shoot it more. And it was really perfect for the day that I shot these images, because it was a really bright day, but the roll-off is so lovely, but you still have a little bit of contrast, and. I quite like that. Following that was the Ilford, and this was actually the first time I ever shot black and white on film, so that was interesting, but the results are really great, and it's, it's just that classic punchy, stark contrast black and white, and it's almost like that classic film noir, high contrast type of look. As for the Fuji 200, I've shot this film before, but last time I shot it, I shot it more on the bright exposing end, which was really lovely and nice and vibrant, but this time I experimented a little bit on the darker side, and I, I quite like the moodiness of the images and the green that comes out of the film. And now that I know that, I'm very excited to shoot my next roll with that film so I can just have that balance of darker and brighter and know which look I want to get and just be able to shoot it. Which finally leaves us with the Kodak T-Max 3200. And wow, I, I shot this for a client. It was my friend Tan Josephson's band that I was shooting and just grain, lovely black and white grain. If you like grainy black and white images, then this is a film that you definitely have to shoot at one point. It's just... I'm so happy with it. And I was so worried during the week that I was waiting for it to be developed. So th that's a bonus too, that it turned out really good. And with all this confidence, I feel like I have now after shooting some really nice rolls of film. It's actually quite funny to watch back this clip that I found from the day I shot the collaboration in Melbourne. It is weird for me to shoot stills. It's weird for me to shoot stills in general. And then yeah. shoot film stills. It's weird. That clip, I think, really goes to show how much I've grown as a photographer in the past few months. And I think quite a bit of that, at least, is thanks to that day in particular. In Melbourne last year, I learned the beauty of shooting on film. And it's not the color or the grain or the contrast or any parts of the aesthetic quality of shooting on film. What it is, is the experience. The approach that you have when you're shooting film is almost the opposite of what you have when you shoot digitally. And that really helps just for shooting in general. With film, you learn how to take things just a little bit slower and learn how to visualize the photograph you're gonna take in your head before you get anywhere near the shutter. It really makes you think of how the moment that you're trying to capture in photography is fleeting. And it's important to choose the right one, especially when there's a cold, hard limit of the amount of photographs that you can take on a given day. Because buying and developing and scanning film is not a cheap process, I'll tell you that. But it's still a wonderful exercise for the modern tutor and it's definitely worth the cost. So yeah, if you've shot a lot of film in your time or you're just getting started, let me know about your experiences in the comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you down there and let me know what you thought about my pictures and my relationship with film so far. Other than that, please give a like to this video if you enjoyed it. It helps it with discovery and all that and getting more views and subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this because that's what I do every single Saturday or at least <laughs> most Saturdays and it's plenty of fun. So yeah, I will see you. I I'm really bad at outros, but I'll, I'll, I'll see you. Thank you.